time to go home. He's ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time to go home. After a, uh, should we say, adventurous I few days. I can't awake. your dress and all showing off. Yeah, yeah. You keep swinging yourself from side to side. Yeah, look. You fool. It's like me. All right, grumpy. Time to go home. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you may put your rubbish outside before we go. There's okay. pizza box and stuff. Mm -hmm. There is. Good morning. Once again, we are now heading home, guys. It's mm -hmm. Friday morning, and it's another beautiful day. But we're heading home. Okay. So we are. So, so yes, I've had a good few days here in Blackpool, and now we are about to head back home to jolly old Northern Ireland. And, and then, I'm pardon? I'm sad that we're leaving home, but in a way I'm also happy because it's so warm. And it's so warm over home as well. I know, but we can actually like, be somewhere with a fan at home because we have a fan and everything. Multiple fans. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not going to be like that. Oh right? dear. But yes, we've had a few days here in Blackpool. Hope you've enjoyed the videos, guys, over the last few days. But we're now heading back home to normality. But hopefully, before the end of today, we'll have a confirmation that myself and <laughs> this dude are heading on another trip in about, what is it, two weeks time? We're heading back sooner than planned to our, our place of worship. Isn't that right? We are heading to Anfield. Hopefully today we're getting tickets for the Liverpool two, they're playing two friendlies, two nights in a row at Anfield. And we're hopefully getting tickets for both of them today. So we are, so we'll know by 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock today. So we'll know about that. Hopefully that will happen. So. I remember him back on the 21st of August for the opening, well, not for the opening game of the season, but the first home Premier League game of full capacity. That's the last uh, Mr. <laughs> decides to say no again. So, which I hope he doesn't. No more negativity. Am I right? No more. Mr. Boris Johnson says. <laughs> she can't really say much. He's nice listening at the moment. Uh -huh. <laughs> Part of this brick wall in he his is, room. Or talking to his wife, Carrie. I was talking a lot of. I'll end this bit here, guys, by saying one more thing. Sorry to bring COVID, COVID thing into the, the vlog here, but I spoke to a couple of business owners over the last few days here, and they're all saying to me they're actually fearful for lockdown over here again in the next three weeks. To keep hearing all these things, with three weeks time, there's going to be another lockdown. And this new uh, app, this, they're calling it the Pingdemic. Uh, it's just a disaster. P business owners are actually afraid over here, which is really, really frightening. But anyway, enough of that. We're heading back to Anfield. We can't wait to get there. We can't wait to get into the ground again and sing our hearts out. So we'll know more before the end of the day. Right, ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Head to the train station, get a train to the airport, and then we are flying back home. And Dad's picking us up at the airport, so. You love flights. I really, I mean, they're quick, yes, but I just don't like them. Let's get down the road. Time to travel back. Oh, the joys of waiting on a train. Look at that lovely smile. Fell up waiting. Did I brush your hair this morning? <laughs> this kid looks so happy. What's wrong? Are you bored? Well, the train's in half an hour. So, I'm over here myself. I'm actually going to be drinking some Thursday. Bye bye, Blackpool, for an hour year. Next stop. Hey, got train. The bottom? I am Preston, guys. Went to the connection train to Manchester Airport. That train's going to London. Want to go to London? London, baby. Where's Brooke? Oh, she's way sat in there. Yes, guys, we're now in Preston. Waiting to head to Manchester. We arrived at the airport. And these two are better than like two wee grannies. But that was an interesting train journey. We stopped off at Preston. Now we're on our way to the terminal. Now the flight's not for an hour, hour and a half, so I'm gonna go and grab a coffee and chill out. And then I wanna tell you some good news, guys. 
So I am, so roast them in this airport. And I mean roast them. Guys, I'm gonna go get a coffee. Okay. You need to go bathroom? I guess it. Again? Hi, you still hungry? Oh, it's <laughs> Lewis what his favourite cafe restaurant takeaway place? Dollar. Fourth day in a row, Pound Bakery. Here, break up as we walk really slow. You can't go through the gate without the pass. Uh, if, we, <laughs> if we would have knew that place was there, like the first day we were there. You'd have been, you'd have out of there all day. Yeah. So you would have? I would have had food out of there every morning. Uh -huh, you're just a nightmare. Let's go through the gate and get into the uh, departure lounge. I think that's still in the car, doing an all new level. You reckon this? This? Yes. Take that, take that still in the car and take that in our new level. I'll say so, look. Come up to the roof. Anyone using the gate yet, though? Yeah, seven, we need to go. Right. Says go to gate. What way is gate seven? Oh, I have no clue. We'll have to find them. This has been a disaster getting back. And items taken off me was trying to bring home as a present. And it's warm. And the staff are not very friendly. So. Not a good experience, guys. That's why I don't fly them on chairs that often. In Liverpool, we look better. No offense to people in Manchester, by the way. It's just a telling truth of my experience. So, we're now heading to gate number two. Gate two. Oh, glad to get home now. So, look, the heat is just rising and it's getting worse. Oh, just be glad to get home, get a cup of tea, and see mum and dad.
can't wait to make my dad. So excited. <laughs> oh, what are they like? Well, we've been home for a few days now, guys, and uh, I just got around to editing this video and realised that it actually didn't have any end to this video. <laughs> um, I've actually recorded another two vlogs since I've been home. Um, so yeah, it's been a few. We've been home quite a lot of well, quite a few days actually. Um, so thank you for watching this footage, guys. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed all the vlogs from Blackpool, um, where we had a really good time. We were there for five days. It was brilliant. The weather was just amazing. Well into uh, about thirty five at least every day. It was amazing. Uh, we had great food, we had great fun, we met viewers in Blackpool Pleasure Beach, we went on Blackpool Tower, we, oh, we done so much while we were there. We could have done more, but we didn't have enough time, but it was great fun and uh, thoroughly enjoyed. So hope you enjoyed the footage from Blackpool, guys, and now back to normality. Um, so, yeah, it was been good fun. It was nice to get away for a couple of days as well, to get back to a little bit of normality, because always our has more freedoms than what we have over here. So it was nice to get a bit of normality back in our lives again, after a crap few weeks, and obviously a crap what 16 months with this whole pandemic nonsense so it's been a it's been a it was a good trip and it's been a good few days away so thoroughly enjoyed anyway guys if you enjoyed this vlog where we traveled home from blackpool drop a like in this video and also hit subscribe below and stay tuned guys because i got another two vlogs that i recorded the other day you probably saw on my instagram um where i was actually at the hospital i'll explain to you more about that later uh lewis and i are away to football here today so we've got two football vlogs coming up um for when we return from holiday and obviously today as well and we'll get back to normality as well from all the other vlogs too as well so anyway guys once again hope you enjoy the video and until the next one see you all soon thanks for watching